Hey YouTube and eBay customers, uh, Rocket Ross UK here again. Uh, today I'm bringing you part two for the updated version on um, like color corrections and adding um, effects in Sony Vegas. Um, so first of all, we're going to go straight into Sony Vegas, and I've just got a clip um, in the preview box here just to show you what we're going to be doing today. Um, I've got a picture of Favela and one of um, Overgrown. So first of all, we'll start on the one on Favela. Um, so straight away we're going to do the basic steps of just getting rid of these black lines around the outside of the preview box so first of all untick maintain aspect ratio and then here you can pull the lines in um, around so you get rid of the black lines or if you've already got a preset like me just select that and that's a step done uh, straight away we also want to right click on the video and go to properties and go to media and set here field order this is very important set that to upper field first and click OK obviously I've already gone through the project um, settings on the previous video but just in case just have a look there to make sure they're all um, set to that click OK uh, first of all uh, we're going to start off with the video effects and the first one we're going to do we'll start at the bottom is the sharpen um, I've got a custom setting if you don't know how to do a custom setting basically just drag on the reset to none and place it, um, I think I have it on about 1.64, we'll go with 1.64 and then go type up here like this, um, custom oh, custom, and then click save and then you'll have that set in there all the time so just to show you, um, let's get rid of that one quickly I've got the custom one here that I saved previously. Drag and drop that on. I had it at 1.75, so that's the sharpen setting. Uh, the next one is the saturation adjust. Um, this is again a custom setting, so uh, you can save it once you've got these values. So if you type in these values, uh, it's only really the top one that's the important one 0 0.5720, then 0, then 1, then 0, then 0. That's the second one. Then again, like save at the top as custom. Um, so you can see straight away that it's brought out loads of colour on the video. If we just go back into that a second, I'll just make this a bit smaller. If we untick, not that small. If we untick the saturation adjust, you can see on the preview box now the difference that makes straight away. If you look at the sky and the Brazil flag, the colour comes out, um, you know, far better than it was before. So that's the second effect. The third effect is. Dum, 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 dum. Color corrector secondary. This one only makes minor improvements, uh, but it definitely makes uh, it's definitely visible when you know when you've rendered your video. So again, this is a custom one. Drag and drop that on. Um, so at this part you might need to write them down or pause the video and just have a look at these settings. I'll just scroll down just so you've got those bottom ones as well. I think they're standard though at the bottom. So if we untick that one. So you can see uh, an improvement on the preview box now if I untick it and tick it. And then the final one, this is the uh, really important one and it's adjustable for every map to be honest. It depends whether it's um, a light map like Favela with Sky or it could be you know, something like Vacant or Skid Row which is quite dark so you do need to adjust um, your preference for each map. So if you drag and drag the easiest way to do it actually, um, to start off with, is drag a reset to none onto the video. And then what you're going to have is a straight line to start with like this. But you'll have a black, uh, like a black square there and a black square there. So basically we'll start at the top, this is for the light colours of the map, i.e. like the whites, the light blues, things like that. We're going to drag and pull it to here. So at first you might think that's just slightly too bright, uh, but as soon as you drag the bottom one across like this, can make it slightly darker. So there, uh, I mean if you look at the intervention now, the sky and the Brazil flag, even this yellow thing here, um, the colours have come out really crisp. So we can untick and tick that to see the difference. There it's like that and like that. Obviously this is, you know, preference about you know what how bright you want it um, and again what type of map it is. So we can just you know alter these settings like that. So for Favela, uh, to me that looks pretty good. If we just skip on to where Overgrown is, and uh, try to find a better spot. Like on that house there, if I untick uh, this effect, see it's um, 
you know the colour of the intervention. I mean that picture still looks great without the colour curves. This is just um, an add-on improvement to make it look you know really good for YouTube. There we go. So you can see it brings out the shadows and the depth of the video really well on there. Um, so what we're going to do is just do a quick recap, untick all the boxes um, that we've added, so you can really see the um, effect of the videos. So that's a standard picture that we've got there. I mean, to be honest, that's not too bad. A lot of people would use that. Uh, but now, if you watch the preview box and we add all three, of, well, all four effects um, that we've done today: the saturation adjust, the color correction, and the color curves. So the difference there is, um, you know, greatly improved, and that is going to look um, really, really good on YouTube. Um, so yeah, they're the basic settings. If you've got any questions or queries that you want to um, ask me, just send me a message on YouTube or eBay, and I'll be more than happy to, um, you know, answer those for you. Um, so that's it for today guys, cheers.